Good morning, ladies. I'm going to show you how to turn ears. You want to turn ears if you don't want any slipping. If you're going to get it tanned or something. What you're going to do, the ear, you're going to see the skin, and you're going to see the cartilage. You're going to work your way around that. What I do is I make tools for this, but I got a pliers for my tool. You're gonna kind of it's very fragile, so slowly work it while you slowly cut the line. See that? Very gently. You don't want to pop it. Pop a hole in it, or you're gonna lose the hair. Takes practice, especially something you want to do if you want top lot, if you're selling to NAFA or something. They love seeing ears pulled. That's part of the process that gets you a top lot. <clears throat> Me, I work for a fur dresser, so I get my stuff tanned up on the wall. This is definitely something you want to do. I've seen a lot of ears slip in hair because they didn't turn them or didn't turn them properly. I'm just going to kind of work it a little bit. push too hard. Blow your tool through. Sharp knife is good so you can you don't have to push hard to get it to cut. That'll get you a whole pop, too. Just gonna kind of press it, stretch it a little. You know, if you're going for a mount or something too, you want to turn the lips too. But that'll be a different video. This is just a coyote that I got this morning out on the trap line. Just gonna work it a little more. See how I'm just slowly working it? Very, very delicate. Trap fast, skin slow, put your fur up the right way. There you have it. Here's the pulled. That's what you want.
put her up on the board when I get done flushing it and we're good to go.